all that's needed is a simple home. But for a few of our obliving friends, precision and symmetry take over. And for a few others, decor matters. Research shows that the spider of this genus, Cyclosa, otherwise known as Thrash Line Orb Weaver, use these decorations, that is, the line of debris, to increase their success rate in catching prey. The art seen here, running along the diameter of web, is a long line of thrash assembled by the orb weaver using anything from part of insect bodies and dried leaves to bits and pieces of other items. The spider sits crouched in the center of the line, camouflaging itself. Talking about these design enthusiasts, our lady here prefers mansion-like structure. The numerous support strands add to the strength of this multi-layered orb structure. Joro Spider builds three-dimensional web structures that span across a diameter of 3 to 6 feet. The massive structure even serves as an accommodation for many other smaller spiders. The layers here include the central orb where the female Joro Spider lives. And two other Hephazard layers on both fronts, mostly holding the feast for the queen. These webs are used to snare the insects and other smaller anthropods after injecting a venomous bite to weaken them. Here's another orb weaving spider sharing a habitat with that of Joros. The shiny orb weaver sitting in the center of the web is a female while the male, significantly smaller in size, hangs on the periphery of it. The plucking of web strings by the male orb weavers has been observed as a courtship ritual before engaging in the act of mating. On the other hand, our Joro guy approaches the female with the gift of nutritional resources. The male Joro here waits for the female to start relishing the prey and capillates with her as she feeds on it. Well, the size of the feed or prey with respect to that of the predator here is quite bizarre. Meet the jumping spider known for its unique hunting skills. They are capable of hunting and catching hold of prey much larger than themselves. According to a few studies, they have the best eyesight of all anthropods. They use this excellent vision to calculate the distance and trajectory to jump and get hold of prey. The distinctively featured male jumping spider gives one last stare at the camera before walking away with the prey that's larger than self. <laughs>